Hey, what's up everybody? This is Guillermo Auto. I'm doing front brakes on a 2015 Toyota Highlander, but this could be used on a 14 and a 16 as well. So we'll go ahead and get into it. The tools you'll probably need is a 17 and a 14 millimeter, a 17 for the caliper bracket, 14 for the caliper bolts, and a tool to depress the piston. You might need other tools, but we'll get into that. Um, so first we gotta take these 14 millimeters off the caliper bolts. Uh, make sure if this nut spins on you, you could hold this so it won't spin and you could get this loose. So go ahead and take those out. Again, I got my 14 millimeter. Got this out. Get my bottom one off next. All right, got that one out. Now I'm gonna slide this off very carefully, just kind of wiggle it until it comes off. And I'm gonna set it over the uh, control arm and rest it on this side. That way it'll rest the uh, brake line and uh, you can just leave it out of the way. Uh, you'll notice it has these clips. If yours has these, uh, I just get a flathead to pull these out. These pretty much just spread the pa uh, pads apart so they're not sitting and rubbing on the rotor all the time. I'm gonna get these out and save them. They're important. All right, so I got my top and bottoms off. I'm gonna put these aside because I'm gonna reuse them or get new ones. Um, if you notice, this shim right here, it has these markings and the, uh, the rear has its own. And uh, this is where the caliper hits it. I'm gonna take this off. So put the shims, if you're gonna put them on where they were. All right, so I'm gonna get this one off too. And here's what I'm talking about. It has these circles, that's where the caliper goes. And then uh, we're gonna reuse these um, top ones from the pads. So I'm gonna take the caliper bracket off now because I'm gonna be resurfacing the rotor. It's these two 17 millimeters right here. Um, they're gonna be a little tighter than the caliper bolts were, but we're gonna go ahead and get those off. All right, I got my 17 millimeter wrench here. I'm gonna break these loose and get them off. Okay, all right, got this one off. I, usually, I start from the bottom so the caliper won't move on me or the caliper bracket won't move on me. I got my top one off. Now this, when you get them both out, this should just come right off. It might even fall off, so be prepared to hold it. All right, so I'm gonna put that over there. I'm gonna get my rotor off. Yours might be rusted on, super tight. 99% of the time they are. You could put a bolt through here and run it down it'll pop it loose or right here there's two spots you could do it or you could take a rubber mallet make sure only a rubber mallet not a real hammer and you could hit the back of it like this until it comes loose I usually I'll put a lug nut on the uh, threads too so the rotor doesn't go flying off you know just anywhere and then um, this is a bolt right here you can just run it in and then uh, tighten it down and it'll push on the hub and push the rotor off just like this here, I just do it until it uh, until it tightens down. The rotor pops off, and then it's good to come off. All right, go ahead and get this off, and then I'm gonna put this on my machine to cut it. Again, if you're not if you're not machining your rotor or messing with your rotor, you could just skip the part. This part, you don't have to take your bracket off. But um, here's a part. Now we're gonna. Uh, lube these slide pins I pop them out I got just a general bottle of lube here I'll pop these out and I'll put lube on them I just put lube on this and uh, you don't gotta go crazy with it just a little bit and then I'm gonna do both sides notice this one has a black ring on it this is the bottom so I put my lube on it and I'm gonna put this back in all right and then I'm gonna take a little brush and clean up the uh, little hardware on here get all the uh, dirt and uh, rust off these if there is any. All right, so now it's nice and good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, look at my pads here. Uh, these are OEM pads, they have these OEM shims. You could switch over these top clips to your new pads. And if you're using OEM pads, you're gonna wanna switch these shims over to it. Um, you could just put like a little bit of lube on the back to kind of help it stick to the pad if you want. If your new pads don't come with these, or if you're using aftermarket pads, then just, I mean, just don't use them, if they don't, if, especially if they don't fit on good. Uh, these are mostly just for OEM pads. They just slide back on your new pads. Also, I'm gonna put a little lube on the top of these and on the bottoms, on the like the little bottom parts. All right, so yeah, as you can see, I got a little lube on these. And these are just so it slides better in the hardware. Also, uh, remember to keep these if you got new ones use those uh, so I got my my rotor resurface I'm putting it back on now 
uh, put my caliper back on, my caliper bracket I mean, and my pads in. I uh, tighten the 17 millimeter bolts down. Uh, try to get those as tight as you can with your wrench and then put your pads in. And uh, remember our clips here? We'll go ahead and put these in. I'm reusing mine because I just reused my pads. Uh, but before we put those in, we gotta depress this piston. Gotta get these uh, pistons in, make room for our new pads. So I got this tool. And all you're really doing is pushing these pistons back in. Uh, if you have like giant channel locks or some other way to do it, uh, there's plenty of ways to do it. You just gotta find a way. Just make sure you press them both in at the same time. So now I'm gonna put these clips back in. These are kind of tricky. I'm, I have to hold it while I put them in or else they'll, they'll just push the pads apart. So what I do is I hold it and I put both of them in and then I put my caliper uh, back on. It's kind of like a two-handed deal. Uh, and then put your 14 millimeter bolts back in and tighten those down. Make sure they tighten down and make sure your nut's not spinning. Make sure your brake line isn't twisted or, you know, kinked in any way. And uh, that's it. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Make sure you pump your pedal. I hope this video helped you guys out. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you want to donate, feel free. I'm a one-man show, so that helps everything uh, stay moving. All right, well, thanks again for watching. See you next video.